Welcome back. Made it through the work week heading into the weekend last weekend before Christmas. So I'm sure a lot of you will be doing some last minute shopping weather cooperating for the most part. We will have to dodge a couple snow showers here and there for tomorrow, but overall accumulations look to be on the light side and then a warming trend here as we go into next week. Nothing showing up just yet on first warning Doppler radar, but this will tend to fill in here as we progress through the evening hours and snow showers becoming likely overnight tonight. So our weather story for tonight, we are calling for cloudy skies, breezy conditions with occasional snow showers out there. Most persistent though farther to the west and to the north. Cold and blustery for our Saturday. A couple leftover snow showers, but a warming trend here. Another warming trend as we go into next week. Now, National Weather Service has issued several lake effect snow advisories and warnings. Uh, some of these in effect for Allegheny County. This uh, at uh, 7 o'clock tonight through 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. And then the darker blue shaded counties over the western southern tier. Uh, Chautauqua, Cattaraugus County is looking at lake effect snow warnings. This is where some hefty snowfall accumulations will take place close to a foot in spots. And then similar conditions here, especially north of Syracuse, including Oswego County uh, through 7 a.m. Sunday could be looking at some accumulations approaching a foot as well just north of Syracuse locally around an inch or so for most. So much less locally here in the Twin Tiers. 36 in Elmira, 33 in Watkins Glen and 34 the current temperature over towards Bath. We do have some snow showers pushing in from the west. It's a trough of low pressure. That's basically a, an elongated area of low pressure. It's a boundary that's kind of focusing some of these heavier snow showers pushing in from the west. So that's what's going to pass later on this evening, closer to midnight, giving us a better chance for perhaps a few heavier snow squalls. Won't last very long, but it could drop a quick inch of accumulation. In the meantime, just some flurries and light snow showers through the early evening hours. 36 right now in Elmira, 37 in Rochester, and Bradford's dropped down to 28 degrees. So through the next 24 hours, it won't be snowing constantly, but the threat for a couple Snow showers here and there. Temperatures mid 20s tonight and only 34 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee. So future track pretty much showing us the same thing. Occasional show, snow showers overnight tonight and for our Saturday. Winds also picking up tomorrow, gusting to near 25 miles an hour, making it feel even colder. Actual temperatures only in the mid 30s, but when you factor in those gusty winds, it'll feel much colder than that. And as far as snowfall accumulations go locally, again, should not be a big deal. Most in and around the Elmira area, only looking at up to an inch of accumulation. But if your travels take you farther off towards the west or towards the north, that's where the snowfall uh, totals will be more impressive. A five degree guarantee for today look like this. We forecast 40 topped out at 39 degrees. Look for temperatures tonight in the mid 20s, 34 the best we can do for the five degree guarantee tomorrow. But hey, we had the we have Christmas now on our seven day forecast and uh, by the end of the week we'll be looking at uh, well 50s uh, through a good part of the week and then towards uh, Christmas Day temperature of 46. Oh my goodness, 50s. You know we get our snow tonight, but I'm so happy. It'll be a nice kind of warm Christmas. You can still get outside. Might even get play football outside. Jeez. That's right, dropping a little bit towards the end of the week, but again, still above average. Perfect. Thank you, Joe. <laughs>